guys, what's happening? Welcome back. Andrew Hauser, the Fat Chef. Welcome back to the Hauser 5 channel. Today I'm gonna make for you guys a classic. It's a white clam pizza. May sound weird to some, but clams on a pizza, it's marvelous. If done properly, excellent pizza crust and fresh clams. We harvested these clams ourselves. We took a road trip up to the Oregon coast, family trip, dug for clams, Got a bucket full of clams last year and froze them and we prepare them and vacuum pack them. So we have clams throughout the entire year. Roll the tape. Here you can see, digging for clams, family affair. Everyone is into it. It's a, some of the best fun you can possibly have in the family. Here you can see we got some gapers, some Marthas, and some cockles. Good day. What's great is you only have about two hours to dig as many clams as you can before the tide pushes back in and absolutely buries everything. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It would really help our channel, guys. Share and subscribe. Thank you. There's Offshore Girl to the bitter end, trying to get every last clam until the bog fills in. As you guys can tell, that was an absolutely epic trip with the family. Harvested a lot of clams, never took over our limit, took just what we needed and cleaned them, vacuum packed them, and we put them in little vacuum pack bags that are portion controlled so that we don't have to take a whole bunch out. So here they are, thawed, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch, just a fine chop on them, and then we'll start making that pizza. Bam, clams are done. All right guys, clams are done. Let's go ahead and make that pizza. We're gonna do clams, garlic, olive oil, and some parsley. So here we go. Got some pizza dough. This is homemade pizza dough. It takes, I don't know. I do a pizza dough that takes about, I don't know. I would say this one is a two day pizza dough to have a good yeasty dough. Um, I like to, and I'll show you guys the recipe. The recipe will be attached. You know what? Let's just do a whole video on pizza dough. That in itself is an entire thing. Can I do it, Vince? Let's see if I can do this, ready? Oh, let's sing a song. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Copyright. There you go. You guys saw my serenade, but 
Pizza dough is all stretched out. Let me get the peel ready. Um, I like to cook my pizza on a peel. And the trick to a good peel so it comes off is you need to get cornmeal on the bottom. I have cornmeal. This will act as ball bearings. So it slides right off onto a stone. Beautiful crust. Or dough. It's going to make a beautiful crust. It's light, it's flaky. I'll do a whole video on just how to make. I'm trying to make this here circle here. I don't know how I got away from me a little bit. I'll do a whole video on how I make my pizza crust. It is no joke, a process within itself. It is, like I said, it takes me two days to make pizza crust or pizza dough. All right, dough's all rolled out or on the peel. Cornmeal is down, acting as the ball bearings. Uh, this is gonna be a sauceless pizza. We're gonna use olive oil instead. I use a nicer olive oil. Um, not, I use a nicer, nicer first pressed, cold pressed olive oil. I find it to be a little bit more pungent of an olive oily taste, but that's kind of what we're looking for on this. So we're just gonna drizzle olive oil. Then we're gonna do garlic, then we're gonna do clams, and then we're gonna do some mozzarella. And we're gonna finish it with uh, some basil. Um, we're gonna do a, a chipinata basil. It's really, I'll show you how to do it. It's just really honestly a fancy word of, for rolling up your basil and cutting into strips. It's pretty, pretty layman's, but sounds really cool, right? To say, oh, chipinata basil. Let me do some garlic. This is, a really really good first date pizza right who doesn't like to eat clam and uh garlic on the first date a lot of clam a lot of clam and we're gonna do a little bit underneath the cheese and then fresh mozz Try your best to keep everything on the board or the peel because when you put it in the oven on the stone, you don't really want to get too much cheese and stuff on the stone. It will burn and we we're gonna try our best here to not have anything burn. Oven's been preheated. My oven's on set at 500 degrees, stone's hot uh my oven's been on for probably two hours heating up that stone so it retains heat so i can get a nice crispy crust and we're gonna throw more clams on top get that one off there make sure we use all that clam if i had some clam liqueur which would be just basically that clam juice that it expels that would be amazing on here as well you guys have probably seen me make that tuna pizza um, from fresh tuna that we can and that's my all-time favorite but this pie right here is my definite definite second favorite um i'm not a big fan of pepperoni on pizza i think that is too i don't know i would say round table or domino's ish this is the pizza I like. You know what? And let's throw just a little bit of parsley on this. I'm going to rip the parsley. And we will finish it with that chiffonata basil we were talking about. I, I actually have a lemon basil that we're going to put on it. I feel like that lemon basil has a little bit of snap to it. I don't know. It just has a different flavor than plain basil. There it is. You know what? Let's just do a skosh more olive oil. But there we have it. Let's go ahead and throw that in the oven. Come around this side, B. Let's throw this on in the oven. All right, there's the stone. As you can tell, 
fats that cornmeal, gives it that ball bearing so it slides right off. You don't want to just throw it in there. You kind of want to slide it. Work it, work it like that. And there we go. And now we wait. In the meantime, we're going to ship it on that basil. All right, let's get that basil going. Um, just a really quick tip. I keep my herbs in water. They stay a little bit better. Some people put them in the uh, refrigerator wrapped up in like a towelette, um, moist towelette or whatever. I prefer just like this. So let's get this going here. Fancy here. This is that lemon basil. It's actually Thai lemon basil. I like to roll. So here's a classic ship knot, right? Roll it up, roll it real tight. Almost like you're rolling a joint, but I don't know. Maybe probably not like you're rolling a joint. I've never rolled a joint, but I hear it in songs. Oh, get in there. And now we ship an odd. Get super, super, super thin, long strips. And we're gonna top it with that. When that pizza comes out, this will be our topping. We're not gonna cook it. It's just, we'll release a little bit of oils and then that warmth from that cheese will kind of bring it all together. You'll see. Oh, there's a little check on it. Basil's done. We're just gonna go ahead and hold off and wait for that to get done. Probably about another two to three minutes. I like it well done. Adding that basil. Absolute gem. And I will also add chili flakes. It's not really chili flakes, it's more like a chili powder or dust, like a chili dust. I take my chili flakes and I grind them. But there it is. So you guys can tell that this is a good pizza. Hear that? That crust is flaky. We have the caramelization of the cheese on the outside. Listen to this. Oh, that, that crunch, those little air bubbles, that's because of the good dough. Those are the bubbles are what I look for. Another cut or like that? What do you think, Vincent? Let's keep it like that. Yeah, bigger that's what portion, I was thinking. Bigger portions. That's what I was thinking. Um, which one am I going to take? Are you this gonna one take... right here. Eh, maybe this one. No, the bubble. All right, let's give it a try. Look at that. Hear that? That's because I put my oven on for two hours prior to making the pizza, so my stone was hot. See the little burntness of the cornmeal? That's what I look for in a good pizza. And then that air bubble is what I also look for in a good pizza. Give us a crust crunch. A crust crunch? Here we go. Let me get after it. That's gonna be hot. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It's gonna be good. <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's hot. It's good. Oh. oh my gosh. Nothing on my face? Yeah, I think you got some on your beard. That's a good pizza. When that string is cheap, just that stringiness of that cheese. Oh my god. The flavors of this pizza are absolutely unreal. Like, I don't know. I love pizza, and this is this is a really good pizza with fresh clams on it, and no sauce. Oh my gosh! Mm. You guys don't have to watch me eat anymore, but this pizza is dynamite. I suggest you guys try it. I appreciate you guys watching this video please 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 subscribe and tell your friends we're gonna try to build this video um as big as some of these other videos you see out there i'm not a professional chef my kids aren't professional actors but we are absolutely awesome anyway thank you guys i appreciate your time see ya